Yo, what's up guys, Bytor is back with some new content for ya. First and foremost, I would like to apologize for not uploading content in a while. As it turns out, I was also interviewing for new jobs and transitioned from one big tech company to an even bigger one. I can tell you the interview process was very enjoyable for me as the material I was preparing for you guys got me ready for all the possible questions that they could ask. Also, before we begin, and since our channel is still relatively small, I would like to make the following offer to our viewers. If you're getting ready for an interview and need some extra help preparing, I would like to offer you that help for free. Simply email us at hardware.interviews at gmail.com with your name and what kind of position you are looking for. I will do my best to prepare you for this interview and hopefully land you that job. I think we are a small enough channel that we can afford the luxury of individual coaching for some of our viewers. Let's get into today's question. This question seems easy at first glance, but it can confuse even some experienced designers. The interviewer will show you the following circuit and simply tell you the following. I'm trying to charge my capacitor to supply. Can I achieve that objective with this configuration? Now I'm going to give you about 10 seconds for you to think about this and then come up with your own conclusion. If you want to take this time to pause the video and write your answer in the comments, you can refer back to your answer at the end of this video and compare your answer with mine. Alright, so the first thing that betray us during interviews are our nerves. Sometimes we want to answer questions too quickly and just glance at what looks to be a simple circuit. Notice this is an NMOS device. Assuming the output node is initially zero, and if we tie the gate of the transistor to supply, then the transistor acts as a switch and the output voltage will start to rise. Will it rise to the supply though? After all, the transistor is acting as a switch. Unfortunately, it will not. After the output voltage reaches a critical value, the transistor will shut itself off and the output voltage will only reach this critical value. Now, what is this critical value? We know that in order for the transistor to conduct current, its gate to source voltage must be higher than its threshold voltage. Otherwise, the transistor cannot conduct current. This means that the output voltage will only reach a value of supply or VDD minus the threshold voltage of the transistor. So of course this configuration is not good for the objective intended. So the interviewer will naturally ask how do we fix this? I'm sure you know the answer so I'm not going to spell it out for you here. But if you are curious to know whether you were right, I will leave a link to a Google Sheet below with the correct answer. That's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for sticking with me this far. Do not forget about emailing me if you need free help preparing for your interview. Smash that subscribe and like button if you found this helpful. I will see you on the next video. Cheers.